going guys, it's Deathmonk here. Today we're going to be talking about something rather interesting concerning Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and a rather interesting leak we found concerning an older Call of Duty being available on a certain um, system. So, I want to know you guys start off this video, let me know in the comments box down below, drop a like, hit the subscribe button if you're new, hit the notification bell so you don't upload, let's get into this. So, Barry Sloan, who is the actor for Captain John Price within Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, has actually reacted to the official gameplay that we actually got for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 within the last couple of days. And he's tweeted, these things take fans and timing, and he says that he can do both. So, he actually just mentioned this within this trailer. So that's really interesting to look into there. Now, uh, renowned um, people behind the scenes uh, who've developed in Co um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in Infinity Ward uh, have actually posted this rather interesting image. Now, Jeffrey, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, Jeffrey Negus or Negus uh, has actually directed the cinematics on Modern Warfare 2 and he said it was a dream of his. Now, Glenn Morshauer and Ria Kilstedt, I think is how it's pronounced, were an inspiring delight to collaborate with. A shout out to the amazing narrative producer Graham Hickmeyer, or Hagmeyer, I should say, and of course the mind behind the story, the amazing creative partner Brian Bloom. Now, these five people are all responsible for creating Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, so I've got them to thank when the game comes out. Now, another thing I found rather interesting. Now, um, be, now, I'm not sure how reliable this uh, Pacific Leaker is, but um, we'll have to wait and see how he's... Now, basically what he's found out is he's managed to find some sort of console that is Modern Warfare 2 inspired. So, as you guys can see, we've got what appears to be either an Xbox or a PlayStation. It's a bit difficult to tell, but... It looks like somebody, someone or other, has actually created what appears to be a PlayStation 5, we can gather, using a Modern Warfare 2 type theme. So as you guys can see, we've got uh, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 logo on one side here, and in the back, and then the other side, we've got what appears to be a soldier, and then a soldier with a soldier, I think I said, I guess you could, that makes sense there, so that's really interesting. And in the background, I'm not sure if you guys can make it out, is actually a 45 second long trailer showing ghost faces along with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 logo. So that is really interesting there. Going dark. Uh, along with the background theme music. So that's really interesting to look at. Uh, for those who are interested, I will pop the original video down description, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, also, uh, Modern Warzone, who's at TwitchCon, which is currently ongoing at this, at this present moment this weekend, has found a rather interesting PC model with a somewhat similar type of theme. As you guys can see, you've got a Call Modern Warfare 2 logo with the ghost's face on it. You've got like, the disk drive itself. You can actually see the inside of that, which looks really cool. So, shout out to Modern Warzone for producing this video. Um, he's currently at the event right now. So, if this is actually going to come on sale, I'll have to get myself that, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if that is a reality, but we'll have to, uh, so I'm keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are of that. Now, I'm pretty sure if you think back all the way back to May the 9th, uh, Call of Duty actually posted a tweet showing um, a what appears to be a, like a zebra crossing with two green lines on it. Now, the two green lines are obviously a symbol of the number two, or the Roman numeral two for the Modern Warfare 2 logo. Now, Mountain Dew, who are one of the sponsors for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, have actually tried to replicate that in using their Mountain bottles of Mountain Dew. So, Call of Duty responded, you're making us thirsty. So, actually, there is a bottle of Mountain Dew that has a Modern Warfare 2 promotion on it. So, if you take a look at this rather interesting image, as you guys can see, we've got like the Modern Warfare 2 logo right here, we've got the Mountain Dew um, logo, Voltage, I think it's from another one of their sponsors. And as you guys can see, unlock Active's Dual Double XP uh, with every, I think that's, I think that's in French, avec chaque code, with every code. So, with every code that we use by purchasing a bottle of Mountain Dew, you actually get Dual Double XP. So, that's going to be really exciting to look forward to. So, that's a rather interesting promotion from Mountain Dew. Now, we don't know 
of anything regarding uh, any of the other sponsors, but um, that's a really interesting collaboration to be excited for. Now, I don't know when that's going to go live, but once we do get more information, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. Now, as you guys can see, according to a Reddit user, it's been found out that um, he's actually found out that Valderas Museum actually does exist in real life. As you guys can see, we've got a picture of what appears to be an individual holding a camera outside the Valderas Museum. Now, of course, uh, in the game, Valderas Museum is actually in Spain, but in real life, it's in Los Angeles. So that's really interesting there. So I want to know your guys' thoughts of that. Again, let me know in the comments. And this is a look at the inside of that uh, specific sim location in real life. So you guys can see we've got that spat like a staircase in the shape of a spiral. So again, that's interesting to look at as well. Now, aside from Modern Warfare 2, I've actually found out something rather interesting on PlayStation's website. Now, if you may go to playstation.com forward slash en dash us slash ps5, you will notice on PlayStation 5 Plus's website, you have to scroll part of the way down, two thirds of the way down, you will also notice a specific game of Call of Duty in the bottom right corner, Call of Duty Black Ops. Now could this suggest, this could mean absolutely nothing, but um, it's interesting to see why they decided to put Call of Duty Black Ops in PlayStation Plus. Now I've had a look on the PlayStation Plus um, on my PS5 and I can't seem to see that specific game mentioned in there, but um, it's interesting to see it on the website. Now, so could this be a symbol of things to come regarding a potential Call of Duty Black Ops remaster, if you will, for PlayStation 5? So, keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are, let me know in the comments box down below. Uh, make sure you guys have subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you upload, thumbs up if you are excited to see more, and I'll, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.